Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in this video, I wanna talk about another command or uh, optimization that the dev for 1.0 Miner has added, and that is the dash dash NR command. Now you can use this on Linux or a mining operating system like Hive or on your Windows system. I got some data and I did some testing, similar to what we did previously when the dev released the dash dash NT command, which allowed us to optimize our GPUs even more. So this just takes an extra step and I wanna share some data with you because you need to be aware that if you extend it too far, you're gonna to get too many stale or rejected shares. So a few days ago at time of recording, the dev released um, the update that adds the new tuning parameter dash dash and R. The default is one. So if you don't use this command and this uh, new revision of the minor 1.2.5, it will be defaulted as one. Um, however, the values are one, two, four, and eight. The best value for almost all GPUs is either one or two, and I would agree with that considering my testing. They say make sure you try both NR1 and NR2 to let the miner find the best dash dash NT value to get a baseline. So you can try it without the dash dash NT value, but I tried uh, with both parameters set, and I'm gonna show you that data here shortly. However, please note, that higher NR values might lead to more power fluctuations and higher stale shares. And I did see power fluctuations, you know, bumping up to 200 watts and then dropping back down to 180, then it just fluctuates. So I did this before with the dash NT command and the sweet spot that I found, and this is testing the RTX 3080 in my main machine and then an EVJ 3060 and an EVJ 3070 Ti on another machine. So, um, the sweet spot I found was NT being either on two, which is what I like and what I run 24 seven, four or one. Um, but you can just let the NR command find that sweet spot for you. And you can see uh, the hash rates and the watts per uh, this chart. And I'll have it linked down in the description. For the NR command, if you try to go four or eight, right? If you try to shoot above one or two, what I notice is you do get quite a bit of stale or rejected shares. You can see the percentages here on the right hand side. So when I was on NR8 uh, with the NT command of four, I was getting 6.3% rejected shares. Where I was on NT and NR4, I was getting 12% rejected shares. And then similar to up here when I was on NR4 and two on NT or eight on NR and two on NT. Uh, but you really want to look at the efficiency, right? So two or one for NR and then for the NT command, two, four, or one. And you just got to find out what's best for you. Now, this particular miner only supports Dynex and it would be nice, uh, developer, if you got a moment to watch this video, to have other algorithms that these miners uh, can use with your particular program other algorithms because I would be very interested to see how these commands or tuning parameters will affect those algorithms as well. So hopefully you add those in the future. But right now 1.0 Miner is only available for NVIDIA GPUs and only on the Dynex algorithm. Um, but the 3080 should be getting around 7,000 uh, hashes or 7 kilohash. And you can see with these tuning parameters I was able to drop the power draw a little bit more. So it says 195, 7,000 hashes. Uh, and the one I'm running is a little bit higher on power draw, just a little bit higher. And it's only doing 6.2 kilo hash. Um, I'm pretty sure we can do a little bit better than that, but this is just to get the data, to get the data to you guys. And you can see we were getting 31.7 hash per watt. Um, and then with the command that basically gave me 12% rejection rate, I did drop the power draw to where hash rate dot no shows, but I'm still only at 6.3 kilo hash, uh, but and with 32.3 uh, hash per watt, but 12 per 12.1 percent rejected shares. So it's a balancing act, but I would recommend either NR uh, two or one if you're going to use that command, and if you're going to combine the NT command, either two, four, or one. Now switching over to the 3060. Uh, TI and, uh, oh no, excuse me, the 3060 and the 3070 TI. What I found was the same thing applied, 
right? So this is before the 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 command came out. So before I updated to the latest version of 1.0 minor, you could see uh, this is after, excuse me. All right, here's before. So if we zoom in a little bit, you can see that I was averaging around 32 hash per watt on both the 3070 Ti and 3060. But after we jumped up to about 35 hash per watt. So we gained about three hash per watt just by upgrading to the latest uh, version and then adding that command parameter. Uh, then with the NR2 and NT2 command, we were sitting around uh, 4.13 kilohash. And yes, the hash rate could be better on the 3070 Ti and the 3060. 2.47 kilohash on the 3060, still sitting around at 35 hash per watt. But take note of rejected shares on the right here, right? So the number on the left is the accepted shares. So the 3070 had 2318 and then had seven rejected shares or stale shares. And then the 3060 had 1422, but 12 rejected shares. Um, and then when we jump over to the NR4 and N NT4, you will see that rejected shares drop jump up quite significantly right here. You can see... The 3070Ti only got right around 1,400 accepted shares, but 101 rejected or stale. And the 3060 got 787 accepted, but only 60 that, uh, well, 60 of them were rejected. And you can see the hash per watt dropped down from 35-ish, 35.2 to 34.6. So the NR4 and the NT4 did not uh, do me any favors. That's why I would recommend either NR1 and 2 combined with NT2, uh, 4, or 1. But just wanted to share that data with you. I got mine both set on uh, NR and NT2. We could just try without the NT command, let NR do its thing, because that is what this 1-0 minor is designed. It even says that here. Um, and it will just find the best NT uh, command for you. But I already did that in my previous data or research. So I just wanted to share this with you. Hopefully, let me know what you're running. Uh, I know that my power draw could be a lot better. Uh, and you guys share your clocks. And I love that. Keep doing that. Keep sharing data with one another. What your clocks, what your settings. Just keep in mind that not everybody's going to be able to run your clocks considering your conditions. Whether you know, you're know you in Canada, it's cold, it's in a basement. Whereas we're in the tropics, it's hot, and we're in a garage. You know, like There's different variables, so we might not always run the same clocks. Uh, but as long as we're in the same basic ballpark, we should be fine. But that's going to do it for today's video. Do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I thank you for your time. You just have yourself a wonderful day. I'll catch you next one. Take care.